tissue paper. Hey guys! I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to my first YouTube video. And like it says, today we are on forgiveness. So let's get into it. For this exercise, we will need three pieces of paper. Can you guess your three pieces of paper? And for the first piece of paper, we are learning to forgive our own selves because we cannot forgive others. We cannot forgive God if we don't know how to forgive ourselves. So right now, I want you to take your piece of paper, start writing down your mistakes. Start writing down the things that you did that you still condemn yourself for. So everything that you once did, everything that still haunts you, your past, everything like that. Write it down in this piece of paper. Everything you're ashamed of, everything you're embarrassed of. You know, people have done a lot of things out here. Someone is watching this video going like, you have no idea what I've done. You think it's that simple? You think you can just take a piece of paper and start writing stuff down? I am telling you to write it down because I don't want you to run away from it. It's still growing. Whether you face it, whether you don't face it, that thing is still growing. That thing is still deep inside. It's still a dark place in your life and you need to face it because it's becoming a burden to you. You won't move fast in life. You won't, you always be behind in general when it comes to peace and joy because you can't forgive. So forgive yourself. That way you allow yourself to accept yourself the way you are. So right now, let's get into forgiving ourselves. I don't know what it is. For some of you, it's things that you watched that you wish you never watched at some age. I don't want to mention the name. For some of you, it's, you know, how you treated someone else. For some of you, it's how you treated another person in your inner relationship. For some of you, everything. It's different things. And people, you just need to let it go. So today... Just start, start working on it. Just start writing. If you're not doing this exercise now, you really need to do it sometime. Get yourself, get yourself some comfortable spot. It's your room, whether it's your room, whether it's where, I don't know. But just find yourself a comfortable spot where you're on your own, where you can write it down, where you can face the paper and say, okay, I did this, but I, I can't keep condemning myself for this. Okay, I did that, I did that. When it's just a thought sometimes, it's easy for you to just say, ah, whatever but then when it's really really written down it changes you like you could change your life just now it's about to change your life can you write it down and face it cry if you have to be embarrassed be ashamed of it but write it down i'm gonna write mine down you need to write yours down so pen paper writing down okay now my favorite part i know you're gonna love this fold your paper like you don't know what just happened everything fold it in say i forgive myself it doesn't matter if you don't mean it right now but i hope you convince yourself that you're forgiving yourself. You need to convince yourself. Sometimes you won't feel like it, but you need to convince yourself. Tell your mind to stop thinking that rubbish. Tell your mind to stop it and start tearing the paper down. You know, this is my favorite part. Tear it down. Say, I'm me. I will not. In my language, I need me. And say, I will not. I will not allow this thing to keep on burdening me i will not allow this thing to keep on haunting me i will not allow this mistake to keep on coming back and reminding me of how terrible i am i'm letting it go and guess what god is even forgiving you in that process just say god forgive me and let me forgive myself i am done with this thing i don't know what you did things are terrible Things are terrible out here, but it doesn't matter. Trust me. I'm telling you that it doesn't matter how big it is. It doesn't matter how small it is. The problem right now is that that past mistake is affecting your future. And it's also affecting your present. You can't think straight sometimes. You're stressed sometimes. Each time, each time something bad happens to you, you keep connecting it to the bad thing that you did. And you can't move on. Please forgive yourself. Enough is enough. We're not going to let this thing keep on haunting us. There are many things. Everything that you wrote right now, I'm not saying you're forgetting it. I'm saying 
every time it comes back, you're like, no, man. I tore that paper down. No, I'm forgiving myself for that. No, I'm starting on a new page. No, no, no. I'm starting on a new page. I can't do this to myself. You are tearing the paper down. You are starting on a clean page. And I'm so happy for you. Cry if you have to. But tear the paper down. So I'm so happy for you. Now here comes the difficult part. I say this is a difficult part because I had a hard time doing this one. Forgiving others. Now, there are people that when you even look at right now, you say, after all this person has done to me, they don't deserve my forgiveness. I know the feeling. And I'm telling you right now that it's not about them. It doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't matter how bad their attitude still stinks. It doesn't matter how bad their behavior is. This isn't about them right now. This is about you. You can always avoid that person if you think this person, every time I'm around them, I need to do some forgiving afterwards. So you can just excuse yourself from them. But let me tell you something that is very important that you should know. It's not about them. It's really not about them. That person won't even change after you forgive them. This is about you carrying burdens that slow you down. Forgive them, not because they deserve it. Let it go because it's a burden to you. So now we're writing them down. This is difficult because some people have done worse things to people. People have hurt people. You know, people have done terrible things. Sometimes it's someone close to you. It's even hard because you're forced to forgive them, but you can't, you know, because you live with them, maybe. Sometimes it's people that are, you know, people that are so confident because of hurting you. It's people that I know the pain and I'm saying it's better to let it go and just, you know, sometimes you need to walk into peace. You don't have to wait for it. You need it in your heart and you need to just say, fine, let me just let it go. And let me tell you what the, how this exercise will help you if you're still finding it hard to forgive them. Write them down. Write the things that they've done to you so many times. And then, of course, like how are we going to do this? We're going to tear the paper like no man's business. You know, we forgive that person. Doesn't matter what they did. Doesn't matter how many they are. It doesn't matter what happened. But you need to start afresh. You need to leave it behind as you go forward because a certain level of growth can't handle and can't be handled by someone who has burdens inside because of not forgiving other people so you need you can't let them hurt you make it difficult to forgive them and also hurt your future no 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 so we are leaving it there where they hurt us in the past we're leaving it there in the past and Soon after you tear those papers down, don't think that the devil is happy. Nope. Especially after you forgave people that he sent to come and offend and hurt you and, you know, all those things. The devil will soon send them back to offend you. Just that minute. Back to offend you. They are there to say the things that they said in the past. They are there to offend you with new releases, new versions. They are in their best version to come and offend you. But guess what? You know and you expect it now. You know that as soon as you forgive the, the, that person, as soon as you tear down that paper, the devil will try to make a move. But when you're ready, when you're expecting it, it's not going to be like a shock to you. You will just go like, oh my God, this person really, really allows the devil to use them. Because how can this be happening? So if you see that you keep on writing the same person over and over again, maybe you forgave them the last time and now because they keep popping up, you need to really do this exercise and cry again and rewrite their name down. Maybe you start seeing that that person really maybe has issues and generally they're so insecure about some of the things or they're just confident in things that are not important or something, but you will see that you are getting tired of writing the same person down. But you don't need to let them also mess up with your head and mess up with your future. Just forgive them. With time, you see that you've written them so many times. It's not even worth it. And you maybe forgive them. Now, here comes the funny part. <laughs> I say this is the funny part because I know so many people will be like, how can one even say forgive God? What is that? 
And I'm saying to you, you need a relationship with God. That's the truth of the matter. And you need him. So if you're angry at God, and if you think God did this, God didn't do that, people just say it was the devil. But many people blame God. <laughs> many people blame God for many things that happened. So I'm saying, I don't know who it was, whether it was God, whether it was God. I'm not saying any of the bad things that happened to you were him or were not him. But I'm saying there are many people, if you are blaming God right now, I'm not even blaming you for that. I'm not saying don't blame him. I'm not saying anything. I'm saying it's time to let it go. It might have been God, but you need him. And you need to really love him. And you can't love him if you can't forgive him. So I'm saying if you think that disappointment, that, that part where you prayed and fasted and did everything but still something bad happened to you or happened to someone you loved or something like that in general like sometimes you'd be like but why would God do this why me those questions still come to you and you know it hurts so much I, I will share this example because I wrote it down and tore it down but it tormented me for so long when I was like uh form five from six 2017 my dad bought me this latest form and I started, you know, I was so happy. It was the latest phone at that time. And two weeks later, it was stolen in a very strange way in our hotel room. And I couldn't believe it. I cried like no man's business. I couldn't believe it. I would ask God. I prayed that we find the phone. We went to the police, tried those things, you know, serial number, nonsense stuff, you know, all the, all that stuff. And nothing happened. You know, my phone was stolen. Then I said, ah, okay, fine. I got another. My dad wrote me a better one. And then I go back to school. And then at some point in house, we stayed in the room. Nothing else was stolen, but my phone was stolen. I was so hurt. Like I was like, God, how can you do this twice in a row in very strange ways? And how can you take it away from me like this? I know I'm not a good person. I know I'm not a saint. I know what, or oh, this or this. Or, but God, why would you have to do it? this way when if it's punishment does it have to hurt this much you know i was so frustrated and i couldn't come to terms with it you know i thought god just does what he wants you know so i was so angry at him i was just angry at him because i couldn't understand how someone who wrote in the book of the in the holy book that they are my father can do that to me so i couldn't believe it and then of course after establishing a good relationship with god I learned how to forgive him and how to not be disappointed by it, how to let it go and how to say, God, I know. And now I have a better phone than those. So I went like, okay, fine, God. I know um, sometimes you do certain things to get my attention, but please don't let it hurt like that time. You know, like, you know, you just ask him, God, please, please don't hurt me so much again. You know, so I learned from those things how to just in general, like, talk to God, um, you know, ask him some things. Even if I don't get the answer just yet, but see his miracles in general. But I learned that I can't hold a grudge for God. He disappointed me. I'll write it down now. And I want you to write it down. I don't know how many times God has disappointed you. How many times you prayed for a loved one to survive. They didn't. You prayed for something to happen. You didn't. You prayed to go to that school. You didn't. You prayed to recover. You didn't. There are a lot of things in general. People are hurt out there. So I'm saying instead of keeping the hate inside and never saying it. You can't tell someone else that. Oh my God. How could God do that? No. Sometimes you, you are keeping it inside. But it's hurting you because you keep blaming it. I want you to write it down. And let it go. So let's write it down. Write it down, write it down, write it down, writing mine down. Now, tear that paper. Bam! I'm not saying you've forgotten any of those things. I am saying you are letting go starting a, a new page you and your god now you can start a relationship with god you can talk to him now you can say fine god i forgive you i'm not saying you're wrong i'm not saying it was you but because i blamed you i need to forgive you my god because i can't move forward with you if i can't forgive you for that thing so i'm forgiving you i'm accepting that it's okay you know what's best for me i'm letting go of those things i'm breaking it down
I'm just begging you. Can you take it? To, can you not hurt me that much next time? But if it's your will, it's fine. But I'm, I'm just going to learn to, to you know, build a relationship with God right now. So I'm saying, tear it down. Let it go. I'm not saying you're forgetting any of those things. I'm saying you're just saying they are too heavy for you. It's too heavy for you. Let it go. So I'm so happy that we did this. Now you and your God, you are starting a good relationship. And I'm so happy for you. So I hope this video changes your life like it changed mine. Oh, my hair. How do you guys like my hair? It's the bomb, right? <laughs> New beginnings. <gasps> So if you did enjoy this video or if it changed something in you or if it's changing your life right now and if you do this exercise, don't forget to leave a comment down below and like this video and subscribe to my channel. Guys, let's grow this channel. Okay, so I'm so happy that I did this and I'm so excited for this YouTube journey.